Hey, I forgot to mention or show you how to uh, have this character walk across the screen. Very simple. You're going to grab your walk peg and just delete the information on the walk peg here, except for the first frame maybe. And then I'm going to place my character over here. And if I place my character <clears throat> at the very end of my walk cycle, if I just place him on the other side of the screen here, and I tween it, uh, your character is just going to walk across the screen like this. But the problem is the character looks like he's sliding on the floor. So there's only one way to do that. And that is to do it frame by frame. So um, you turn on the onion skin and with the arrow keys I use, uh, I keep my finger on shift because it moves uh, into bigger increments. I just match the heel here and then I move on to the next one and I just hold shift and use the uh, forward arrow keys and then just move forward this way. and match the foot and I continue doing that until I reach the end of the scene now here I have a little problem um, when he walks here this foot is fine but now when this foot goes on the floor this foot is sliding, which means that I have to fix my walk cycle. Uh, so all I need to do is grab this leg here and try to match it this way and move on to the next frame here. And now he's starting to bring his foot off the ground. So I'm just fixing my walk cycle here. And here's the um, where my walk cycle ends. So what I'm going to do is to avoid having the same problem over and over again, I'm just going to delete my walk cycle here. And I'll recopy and paste uh, the one that's fixed. And I have the same problem on this leg too, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. Maybe just give it a little bit more direction here. like that and now that problem should not um, show up every single time so I went back and I fixed my original walk cycle so now I'm just going to copy that and this one is the same as this one that's my full stride full stride here, full stride here. So I'm just going to copy this like that and do that again. And as I can see, it's matching up here as well. And here we go. And then I continue with just using the arrow keys to match each frame so that the character does not slide on the floor. Now in some scenes, uh, what they'll do to avoid this problem is they'll usually have the character walk like this, but they're not going to show you the feet so that um, you don't have to do this kind of thing. So that might, that might be a technique that uh, the storyboard artists 
will plan ahead just so that you don't have to do this because uh, it is kind of redundant especially if the character is walking for a really long time it can get a little bit monotonous but we are almost done Again, I'm only moving my character on this peg here, the walk peg, which means that the character, it everything is connected to that, including the shadow. So I don't have to move anything else, but just that one peg. We are almost done here. It's going to look very good very professional so this is the difference between being you know like a hobbyist or a professional animator is a professional animator will go to great lengths uh, to make things look good and he's almost off screen and that's it Now I can do that and put a stop here and here we go. Cowabunga. Cowabunga dudes. This animation's awesome. Look at that. He is not sliding at all. Looks really good. It's going up and down. There is some squash and stretch in the feet. That nunchuck is moving. His belt is moving a little bit, his bandana. And that's it. So enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.